Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and another episode of Rebuilding Time Dock Station and last time we worked on the gents and all this building here was in bits so this episode is about how I got this building to this stage so Without further ado, let's head over to the bench. See you. Right, so we've got the refreshments room and the porter's office here. And uh, last time we had just fitted the girders to the door frame. And now we want to build up this area here so that we can eventually um, glue the gents to the side of it. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. Basically, I'm just going to stick some Metcalf brick papers to to the card and create a wall. Um, whether I should put a, a small hatch here for maintenance, um, I'm not sure, but we'll we'll see. And this is what I've decided to do for the walls above the lift um, on the far side, which is platform two side. I've decided to add a little window there just above that door there and on this side platform one side I've decided to have a little service door so if something does go wrong with the lift not only you've got access from the inside but you can put a ladder up against there and go in from the top to get to the motor. Um, I was debating on leaving this green because maybe um, during the, the different eras they would have probably left that green or burgundy red but knowing Sid the station master he would have insisted on painting it blue. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint that blue and then add the door handle then we can glue these two walls to the lift and that will be uh, that little detail done um, then we can move on to the porter's office or it could become a lost property office. And this is what it looks like now with all the walls in place. So the final act for this scene is I'm just placing a little bit of glass over the window there. And then that should finish that little tiny section of the building off. So yeah, it's taking shape. Um, as you can see, the, I've put a piece of card in for the top and I've already pre-drilled it for 3mm ready for the LED. And uh, yeah, still a little bit to do for finishing off, so I'm happy with that. The next stage is the um, porter's office. Before I go any further, I'd like to show you how I hide cables. Um, for, for coming up through the baseboards and also the fire glow LED which I'm going to put in here um, as you can see these are all two mil cards these two this is one mil card but what I've got is I've got a piece of one mil card across the top and this here is there as well so that gives me at least a three mil channel to hide cables and resistors let me show you what I mean. So here we have the intermediate wall. This side here is going to go in the porter's office and this side will go into the refreshments room. Now I'm only going to put one fire glow um, unit into uh, this building so it might as well be in the porter's office. So this is what I mean uh, about the two mil thicknesses of card. See there's a the two mil pieces. This extra two mil piece there will sit on this ridge here 
like that and then it'll be glued in place like so and then all I have to do is push up the LED once it's soldered bring the cables through the back side so the cables here will end up um, on the refreshments ceiling if you like and uh, here is the LED in question I've bent it 180 degrees back on itself and then that will just sit in there you see there's loads of room in there so far and then by the time you put that on there that will sit snugly in there obviously I've still got the fire surround and half to add but once that's set in there glued in there then that uh, would work a, a treat um, as I've done before and uh, we flip it over and like I said the cables will come out through here I have now assembled the chimney onto the intermediate wall and as you can see I'm in the process of feeding the cables up through the channel and back out through this side which will go um, above the ceiling uh, like we said for the restroom um, it was a little bit of a, a fiddle to get these cables in um, I'm doing it now because I've got to put a fire hearth in like what we've done this side so I'm gonna to have to do that now so I'll just push that into there like so and then hopefully once the surround is made um, that would flicker and um, yeah and those are the cables that will attach in series with the rest of the cables for the for the other rooms um, so it does seem to be working I've got to twist that round a little bit more the LED itself and hopefully bury it into the channel a little bit deeper but um, yeah hopefully that should work I have now glued the hearth onto the fireplace as it were and and I've also added some card to the chimney breast at the top here so I've took measurements of all this so when I come to build the other three because this station will have four chimneys and three of them is on the other side or on the other building so this is the only one the only chimney for this side of the building if you know what I mean right so now we've got to make up the fire surrounds and I've got to do a little bit of mass production here because I've got to make eight of them and I've gone 13 mil wide and 14 mil high and the aperture here where I've marked in green measures 7 mil by 7 mil square and we've got a little bit of a card there that's the actual fire grate as it were so I'll leave that there and I'll paint that black and I'll paint the rest of the surround white and then once I've done all the painting and cutting out um, of the actual fire um, holes as it were um, then I can cut them individually and glue them onto the chimney breast and here we are, we have the first two fireplaces fitted uh, into the building. Uh, this is the LED side, you can just make out the LED. There's some white glue there where I've just put some coal in, so you just got to give that a chance to, to go off and then that white will disappear. And if we flip it over, we can see the non-LED side which has some painted flames but still has some real coal in the fire so this intermediate wall is now ready to be fitted into this station building um, as you can see I've, I've, when I did the LED for this I did the LED for the lift so it's slowly coming together so that will just slot in there and uh, we shall glue that in so it's slowly coming together so now we move on to the floor 
um, same as what I did for the gents. I'm just going to scribe this card and paint it um, a brown and then varnish over the top. And um, yeah, you notice I've got a pair of lines just here. And that's where the intermediate wall is, is. So I won't be putting any paint on that because I want the glue to stick to that. And also if I find out where the centre is, I'll mark round for the fireplace and leave that um, paint free as well. So that would then help to stick the floor in situ. While the floor is drying, I'm going to make a start on decorating this building. But before I do that, I need to put in the skirting boards along the base of this building, which helps support the floor when I push the floor in when it's finished. Um, so yeah, I'm going to decorate the walls. Uh, what I'm going to do with the refreshments room, I'm going to wallpaper this side and this side where the fireplace is and then paint the rest and uh, we shall see where we go from there as for the porter's room well it's quite small so I'm just going to put a couple of uh, comfy chairs in there probably and some shelves for lost property that sort of thing so yeah so that's where we are at the moment so for the skirting boards I'm just using some 2 mil card which I'll just place along the lower edge of this intermediate wall because it doesn't need the lip because I've already set it back a millimeter as you can see so the floor will just glue straight onto there so it's just a case of measuring and fitting each little tiny piece of card should just sit it in there nice and flush with the bottom and then just wipe off any excess glue I have now decorated the porter's office come luggage room and the refreshments room um, and I've also added some wallpaper as well. Now this wallpaper is 178th scale um, doll's house wallpaper actually. And uh, it just kind of sets it off. Um, so yeah, and I've also stuck on the gents and fitted the LED to the gents. And, uh, and there's that little window that I've added. I've actually put some bricks around around the top of that window right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave any furniture for now because I'll do that all the furniture in one go when the other building is done on the other side so what I want to do now is basically finish off the, the, the fronts of the buildings really add in the brick surrounds at the top and some window sills and that should finish off the exterior of this building and then we can um, concentrate on the other building. To give the station its character is to finish off using these Medcalf brick sheets. Now if you're lucky enough to find this old stipe print of the Medcalf brick sheets where you've got these brick lintels which goes across the top of the windows um, it does add more character now what I have found if you can't get the radius you want if I just zoom you in you can see what I mean by what I'm gonna do next right you see this middle stone here or this middle brick if you cut that into a V but don't cut it all the way through the lintel just cut a little V 
then you can fold the two halves around to create a shallower radius. Now this is what I've been doing through these ones here on these windows. As you can see, if I just zoom you out a little bit, you can see a bit more detail. So by putting the V in creates a key brick like we see there and that just finishes it off nicely and if I zoom out you can see the lower bricks as well which adds a little bit more of a detail along this lower edge all the way around to finish off we'll just add some brick windowsills now if we cut this down the middle because that's 6 mil wide that gives you 3 millimeters which is roughly the width of a brick and that just finishes off these windows quite nicely making sure the bricks in the center like so And that finishes off the windows. Right, I think that's as far as I'm going to go um, regarding this building. Um, it still need weathering and some touch-up, especially on these edges. Uh, but apart from that, uh, this is almost ready. Um, we still got the insides to do regarding furniture and a little bar that goes in the rest uh, refreshments room and also we still got a little bit of work left to do in there I've added the LED for the gents and I've tested it and it works so yeah I think for now we can move on to the other building but that's going to be another video and here we are, we're back on the platform and as you can see we've got the northeastern um, tiled map on the wall along with a couple of timetables and it's beginning to look more and more like a station now especially now we've added the first chimney breast and yeah, it's beginning to take shape We've got the new access hatch. If anything goes wrong with the lift, the mechanical engineers can get up there and sort out any issues. If we look closer, you can see I've added a tiny set of buttons for bringing the lift up and down there. And as we go around, there seems to be a little bit of a fuss going on. I think they've lost the key to the door on the gents. That's why you've got a queue. Blimey, how embarrassing. Right, I think that's all from me. Thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, stay safe, everybody. And we'll catch you again next time when we start the other building.